Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm there from Nasdaq, but otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. And today I want to talk about the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 50 series. So within the 50 series, it's coming out. These things are going to be supremely powerful. We're all really excited about it. But anyone who knows anything about video cards also know that they're going to be overpriced and probably underpowered compared to previous units. Now, there's definitely something going on these days where... Um, this cartoon right here comes to mind quite a bit. Okay, so back in the day, the company store, if, if there was, if someone found gold, all of a sudden the gold rush would go. You get in NVIDIA, who would be the company store, and then everyone would go to the company store in order to get their stuff, and then they go off thinking that they'd make money, thinking they'd go off and get gold or artificial intelligence or Bitcoin, and NVIDIA is the company store that sells it to us. You shovel 16 tons, and what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, because I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. So what's the company store doing to us this time? Okay, 60 is the new 50, basically. Um, so the 50, 60 is coming out. Everyone's really upset. It only got 8 gigabytes of memory size. I'm hoping that they're going to leverage that by having it just balls to the wall fast which would legitimately be awesome geez i wonder how many CUDAs this thing has oh wow 9.1 i'm not even sure i've seen anything with a 9.1 CUDA compute score so basically the 60 units are the new 50 units like if you would have bought i think it's like a 3050 it, or a 3050 would be about as quick as a newly released uh 4060. Now, I, I mean that not in terms of output, but in terms of what year it was versus what money you would be paying for it versus what you would be getting. That is getting worse. Now, it's kind of our fault. Uh, we all went with NVIDIA because everyone did NVIDIA. AI is going with NVIDIA. Um, now, since less of us are supporting Intel and... Um, AMD, AMD, Intel, they are not making chips, but I really shouldn't be supporting Intel right now. Okay, so if you were to search for Intel right now, you'd learn about the giant cuts. That was basically, these cuts are basically because um, of the stock plunge, crash 15%, because basically we have two generations of chips that uh, don't work, and all of them are going to die eventually, it seems, or at least all the i7s. Here we go, this is what I'm talking about. Intel's crashing 13 to 14 gen CPUs. Now I have one of their uh, GPUs and it, it really, it doesn't feel like it has quality. It feels really sketchy, I gotta say. But at the same time, we have to invest money into these. What am I saying? Intel has all of the money. We don't have to, we don't have to invest into them. They should just freaking have this stuff. No wonder they're losing so much. Intel has so freaking much money. What am I thinking? So ultimately what I want to show here is that we as consumers are getting screwed because uh, there is more of a smaller amount of people at the top who can control everything. And they are seizing monopolistic control. As they're seizing this control, they have the, the ability to put their prices up and be real pricks. And they are choosing to put the prices up and be real pricks. This is one example of how we are losing value per dollar because the company store uh, has all of the power. The company store is going to drive us into the ground. We are going to be <laughs> in debt. And man, these days the company store is not even just uh, one corporation. After COVID, every store is doing this. This is the very definition, by definition, of... Uh, this is shrinkflation right here. This is shrinkflation. Huh. And this is also a reflection of something to come. And if we don't do something and vote with our wallets, we, 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 we need to change things so that this doesn't happen. This is a wave, a tide, a tide that will go out eventually, but a tide that won't go out unless we look at it and say, hey, guys, we're at the bottom. And things aren't all that easy. You guys got to make things the way they were before COVID, all right? Anyways, those are just my rants. Thanks for listening to me, guys. I really appreciate that. But the shrinkflation stuff's got to stop. I'll catch you guys later. Take, have a good one.